Uh, hello? Um, hey, you're fine. You might want to look at the cameras while I talk, you know. Um, now we've just received a letter from the company we bought these animatronics from. Well, the endoskeletons, anyway. They said that there's a glitch in their newer animatronics, where if the endoskeletons see a human after 12am, they'll see him as a bare endoskeleton, and will want to stuff him into a suit. Um, they say the glitch might have carried over to the prototypes as well, you know. Now, judging by what's in our suits, and the weight of the <laughs> suits, they're made of metal, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't want to be stuffed into one of them. But anyway, I digress. Uh, we finished the animatronic I was talking about yesterday. Uh, he's in the back room now, if you want to have a look. If you're not being eaten. <laughs> um, oh dear, I'm, I'm telling you, if I was a kid and I saw like an endoskeleton with nothing but a burgy head on, <laughs> I would just... Wait. Oh dear. Right, listen, if you're not already being shoved into a suit, um, the new animatronic will still see you as an endoskeleton. But if it sees you with just the head on, it will dismember you. So, don't wear the mask. You see, there are two places that an endoskeleton can go. <laughs> the security office and the back room. But it's only the newer animatronic that knows this. Anyway, I'll just leave you alone now. I've been rambling on for long enough. I'll leave you to it. See ya. Oh, <laughs> oh,